Okay, now in this final section for print cut, I do want to touch on a topic. Now, I don't typically cut like this because for a couple of reasons, but um, you can cut print and cut without a mat in certain circumstances. If you're using sticker paper or printable vinyl that you only cut through the top layer. So in general for stickers, let's use that as an example. With stickers, you only cut through the top layer and you're not cutting all the way through. So technically, this machine cuts matless. As long as you're not cutting all the way through, you could do a print and cut without a cutting mat. I don't, but it is possible. And it's something I might explore down the road. I've just, you know, I started with Silhouette over 10 years ago and I use the mat. Um, I get a lot of lifespan out of my cutting mats and I just use the mat. That's what I'm most comfortable with. But you can definitely try it and test it. You want to make sure that your setup in your software shows you do not have a mat set up from the get-go. So from the time you set your page up, the print and cut is very specific in where it prints those registration marks out. Now here, let's, I'll show you an example here since I don't have a demonstration for this. Okay, so here's a software demonstration on how you would set this up. You're going to choose your machine, which is your Cameo Pro, and then you want to tell it that you are not using a cutting mat. So none is what you choose. Now, I want you to watch on the screen when I toggle between that. Now, my page size is still set up as the 11 17 by 17 as I cut before. Um, I'll change that here in just a second, but watch as I toggle between the cutting mat, watch that red line. The red line changes around my page. That is because when you're cutting with no cutting mat, the rollers need somewhere to hold that material in. So let's use an example. I'm going to change my page size to a letter size sheet of paper, which is typical for cardstock or for sticker paper. Then I'm going to choose the none option for my cutting mat. So I have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper selected in my software. In this version of the software, it's showing this red cut border. There is a line on the left side where the roller is gonna hold it in. The line on the right side, in my software version, that might be a bug, but watch on your screen as you do this. Then you're going to notice at the bottom of the page that there is a one inch that is outside of the cutting mat area or the cuttable area. This is because when you're cutting without a cutting mat, it has to keep that materials securely in the machine. So this area that you see on the screen here is where those rollers at the end of the page, it cannot cut to the very edge of the page or it's going to fall out of the machine. Even if you try to trick it, it's going to fall out of the machine more times than not. So if I come over here to my registration marks and I turn my registration marks on, you're going to see that my, my page here, the red cup order adjusts on there as well. Now, if we take a look here, if I close this and I pull a guide out just for visual from my ruler, this guide is going to tell me that my bottom cut border is at the 10 inch mark. If I come to a new page to show you and I change it back to having, let's do a 12 by 12 cutting mat. And I have a letter size sheet of paper. If I choose my registration marks and I turn them on, if I pull a guide out here and show at the bottom, my cut bottom cut line maximum cuttable area is at 10.375 so if i toggle back and forth between these screens watch you're going to see that my registration marks are different they're they're located at different places so it is very important that you 
print, after you've printed, you can't change anything. So if you're printing without a cutting mat selected, that affects where those registration marks are going to print. So if I go back here to no mat, there is that one inch space at the bottom that it needs that to hold the material in the machine. If I go back to a cutting mat, it's not one inch, it's 0.75. So you can see this bottom registration mark prints at a different area. That makes a huge difference in your print and cut success. So if you don't have it set up properly in the software to start, it will affect your cut results. As you saw on the screen, there is a major difference where those registration marks print. It also affects where your designs are. So if you print telling the software there is no cutting mat being used, but then you go and use a cutting mat, it's not matching up. It does not match. It's not the machine's fault. That is in the setup of the print and cut. Now, that was a long-winded explanation, but I really wanted to give you the visual of how that affects those registration marks because you need those registration marks to match exactly on the page as it does in the software. That is what the optical eye, again, not a high level of intelligence, just a red laser light that turns on. You need that optical eye to find those marks in the exact location the software says it is. If those aren't the locations on your printed page, it's not going to cut right. Now, the other thing I see is with users who have printers that can print large. So we're talking like echo solvent printers. Um, I, it's not my area of expertise. I don't own a large format printer in that, like that in that case. So I am going off of what we've been troubleshooting and what we've seen. When you're working with a large print and cut on that scale. So for instance, let's take an echo solvent printer. You're printing at 12, 24 inches, but you have to print or you are printing print and cut. And I've seen somebody who did a print and cut that was like three feet long. It probably will not consistently work. It's really designed to cut with a mat. There are options where you can cut without a mat, but the smaller that your format in your printing is, you have the best success. The reason behind that is, is if you are using printable vinyl, as an example, the way it feeds back and forth, if there is any wiggle room at all, if there's any wandering, um, a walking of your vinyl at all, it can affect your print and cut results. If it doesn't feed properly, when you have a long length of vinyl, that vinyl first off starts at that top square registration mark, then it's going to have to go all the way down. If it's three feet, all three feet, read that bottom registration mark, come back up to the top, read that top registration mark, and then it starts to cut, which then can be all over. If that vinyl walks at all under those rollers, that affects your results. If the vinyl bunches up or bubbles in the middle um, at all during that entire length of the cut, it's going to affect your results. So it's really not designed as a commercial machine to work with an echo solvent printer. You can definitely try it because you could have success with it, but I want to bring those things up just in case you run into an issue. Any movement in that vinyl is going to cause that cut to be off. Print and cut is very specific in what it's looking for.